Good day ladies and gentlemen medicine assess presents how do i administer do you think you are taking the medicine in the right way maybe yes maybe no if yes that's great if no then it would create serious adverse effect instead of the intended action so this is an open arena where we discuss the steps that need to be followed when taking a medicine Good morning sir my dad is a diabetic patient he is administering insulin with the insulin syringe can you brief me on how to take insulin with insulin syringe before that do you know how a diabetes mellitus happen no I will give you a brief idea about insulin. So what is insulin? Insulin is a hormone produced in the pancreas by beta cells, which regulate the amount of glucose in blood. It allows your body to use glucose for energy. If your body does not produce enough insulin or your cells are resistant to the effect of insulin, you may develop hypoglycemia, that is high blood sugar. People with type 1 diabetes cannot make insulin because beta cells in pancreas are damaged or destroyed. Therefore, these people will need insulin injection to allow their body to process glucose and to avoid complications from hypoglycemia. People with type 2 diabetes do not respond well or are resistant to insulin. Person with type 2 diabetes may first be treated with oral medications along with diet and exercise. Since type 2 diabetes is a progressive condition, the longer someone has it, the more likely they will require insulin to maintain blood sugar level. Okay, that added me some information. I have come across various insulin preparations. Are they all same? Each preparations are having different actions. There are many kinds of insulin including rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting and long acting. They all act differently and sometimes work faster or last longer than others. Injecting insulin can be done with a viral syringe or insulin pen. We are only discussing injecting insulin using a syringe. Oh, that's cool. It seemed to me that my dad injects his insulin in a different manner each time. There are standard steps that need to be followed. Let's begin by washing your hands. The supplies you will need insulin syringe, both loaf insulin, that is oil, and sharps container. In syringe, the lines help you to tell how much is in syringe. On one type of syringe, each lines may be two units. There are also syringes that have a markers for each unit and each half unit. Any insulin you have not started using must be placed in refrigerator, but do not put it in the freezer. Once you start using both, you keep it at room temperature. But if you like somewhere that is most of time about 26 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, you should keep insulin you have started in the refrigerator. Always check bottle expiration date before you start using it because old insulin will not control your blood sugar. Look at the label and make sure you have a right kind of insulin for injection you need to do. And look at the insulin, you should not see any dark spot, chunks or the still floating in it. If it present, does not work well. Sharps containers for to throw the syringe away in when you are done. Roll the insulin bottle back and forth between your palms for at least 10 times. This provides a dual benefit of mixing the insulin and warming it to body temperature to reduce pain when injecting. Never shake insulin, it can make insulin less effective, also it creates air bubbles which makes it harder to get correct dose. For starting to inject, wipe the insulin bottles rubber toe with an alcohol swab.
For injecting air into bottle, first remove caps from both the tops and bottom of insulin syringe. Being careful not to touch the needle to keep it sterile. Then you need to inject air into insulin bottle. This makes it easier to get the insulin out. So pull back the plunger of a syringe to put as much as air in the syringe as a dose of a medicine you want. For example, if you need a 14 unit of insulin, you first need to inject 14 unit of air into bottle. To do this, pull back the plunger on a syringe until the bottom lines up with 14 unit mark. The syringe now holds 14 unit of air with the insulin bottle on a flat surface. Then stick the syringe needle into the bottle's rubber top. Then push air into bottle. Now you are ready to pull insulin into the syringe. Turn the insulin bottle and syringe upside down. Now slowly pull the plunger back until you have a 14 unit of insulin into syringe. Check syringe for air bubbles. If you see any, hold both bottle and syringe in one hand and tap syringe with the other hand. Then bubbles will flow to the top. Then push the insulin back into the bottle. And again pull another 14 unit into the syringe. Then again check in for bubbles. When there is no bubbles, take the syringe out of bottle. Put a syringe down carefully so the needle does not touch anything. Now you are ready to go. Pick a spot at least 1 inch from your belly button and at least 1 inch from where you last injected. So injection below the skin of abdomen results in faster absorption than other injection site, such as skin of upper arms, thigh or buttocks. Clean injection site with an alcohol sab. Allow each skin dry for a few minutes. To avoid injection into muscle, gently pinch 1 to 2 inch portion of skin. Insert the needle at 90 degree angle. Push the plunger down all the way and wait for 5 to 10 seconds. And pull the needle straight out. If you notice a minor bleeding, then apply a light pressure on a spot until it stops. Do not rub the spot, this will keep insulin from leaking out. Put a syringe in a sharps container, never use a syringe. These are the steps involved in the injecting insulin using a syringe. Okay. Also, I found my dad administering the insulin at the same injection site. Is it okay? Do not inject insulin into the same spot each time. It can cause hard lumps to grow under your skin. You can avoid this by rotating injection site. For example, if you select abdomen, split the selected injection area into four large sections. Select one section and split it into four small sections. Then rotate clockwise through these four small sections for a week. In this following week, select the next large sections clockwise from the previous week and divide it into four small sections. Repeat the rotation between small section and large section in each following weeks. I want to share a very important info that most people either don't know or don't care about. The thing is that there is a discrepancy in between brands regarding expiration date after insulin vial has been opened. I have provided a list of commonly available insulin brands with their expiration date. I advise you all to cross check the list of insulin with you are currently using. Thank you. It was nice speaking to you. Have a nice day.